Hey, what's going on tribe? It's Red again. Just hitting you guys up with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. <clears throat> so guys, this is going to be like one of them crazy Matrix talk videos. Um, and a bit of self-expression. Because yeah, I just use my platform just to express what I'm going through on my journey and stuff in general. So, um, it kind of dawned on me like um, today as I was walking, um, how this is kind of, this is my, well, this is a part of the ego and one of the negative traits that I've been working on about being impatient. So I've come to realize that um, obviously healing in general, um, it takes time. Um, so it doesn't matter what, whatever you're trying to work through, if you're trying to work through your shit, um, your past traumas, um, childhood issues, um, and just trying to better yourself in general. Um, yeah, one thing I've it just come to light is, um, yeah, it takes time. It takes time. Nothing ha happens overnight, and Rome wasn't built in a day. Um, and as you guys know, <laughs> I got patience is the key tattooed on my hand. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that's like my I've come a long way because before I used to be so impulsive and um, impatient but um, over been putting working over the years and um, yeah it's starting to pay off but I still it still comes out now and again which is normal but then I just gotta rein the ego back in um, so yeah healing in general like I keep saying it's not for the faint-hearted yeah, healing is painful. Um, it can he bring you to your lowest point. It can also bring you to your highest point. But um, once the healing, <laughs> once you become more conscious, once you wake up, your your the Pandora's box is open and you cannot be closed. You can try ignore it, and you can try to sidetrack shit. But once that door is open, um, there's no going back. So you're fully down the rabbit hole with Alice. Um, so yeah, once you've kind of opened that door, then it's about you putting in the work um, to see where it needs healing. Um, because things will come to light after you've had a dark night of the soul or an ego death, then you know where you need to put work in. And I think I'm currently having um, a dark night of the soul and I forget how painful they are look at me smiling but I uh, this trust this it hurts <laughs> but you gotta laugh through it in it yeah um, just just go with it just go with it um, and try not to get too attached because whatever comes up is coming up to be like healed and released and shit so um, yeah like I was saying um, yeah healing um, yeah it's a slow process man and when you if you're on your journey and trying to heal um the best advice i would say is be compassionate with yourself um and be kind to yourself because sometimes on the journey we can think sometimes we can compare our journey to other people's journey oh um this, I think this is just normal, just in general, like, it can either be for healing, um, oh yeah, you're putting in so much work, and you ain't seeing the fruits of your labour, should I say, and then sometimes the ego is normal to just um, kind of not be envious, that's not the word we're looking for, but, um, you know, everyone's path is different, so um, if I wanted the nice house and car and that, I could have that if I wanted it. But then that means I've got to put work in for that and my path isn't leading that way. So sometimes it's normal for the ego to be like, um, it's not comparing journeys, should I say, but what's the word? Um, what's the word? It's not envious. It's not envious because envious is wanting what someone else has. Um, maybe it's comparing, maybe it's comparing. Um, 
someone else's journey to your journey. It's like, oh yeah, I wanna, I would like to do that. Well, not like to do that. It's a bit hard what I'm trying to explain. But um, yeah, try not to compare. Let me get just get to the point. Try not to compare your journey to other people's journey, because um, for the orbs, um, your journey is unique to you, and everyone's journey is unique to them. So. Um, yeah, wherever, wherever you're at in your journey, just remind yourself that you're w exactly where you need to be. Um, yeah, so like, don't be comparing people um, with what you see on social. What you see on social media is not real, so just don't even pay attention to that. Um, like the the car house and all that shit. That's most of that's bullshit anyway. But then sometimes that can trickle into reality, and then you can start saying, oh, "I would like to have that. I would like to have that." Um, but that's just material shit um, and real um, wealth comes from internal so once you seek what you're looking for internally you don't even need it externally or you'll just man manifest it with ease because a lot of people um, will say work hard, work hard, work hard to get the house, car and stuff like that okay, that's fine but when you're on the right path your soul's mission, everything will come to you with ease, yeah? Um, and things will just flow, there will be no resistance. So if you're finding it, you've got to go get it, go, 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 and you're finding it like hard and struggling, not struggling, but like finding it very difficult to obtain what you're, you want, that's because you're not on the right path. You're doing, you're probably going in the wrong direction. You're meant to be doing the complete opposite. Um, so yeah, there was that. Um, and what else was I going to say? Oh yeah, so <laughs> this kind of dawned on me as well. Um, also, with the ascension, um, yes, time is speeding up. Um, if you not, haven't noticed, time is time is like speeding up and it's becoming very fast. And what you're thinking is go is basically going to manifest almost instantaneously. So try to guard your thoughts. Um, but where I was getting that is, uh, this is with the impatience, but again, so, um, yeah, me thinking um, the ascension was going to be <laughs> somewhat fast, yeah, um, I think this is more sometimes, the e I think this is the ego, because the, the ego is impatient and the soul is patient, so yeah, it's more ego, like, oh yeah, um, 2020, going protesting and stuff, People are waking up, coming, coming, like spreading awareness and stuff like that. So you're thinking, oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Like, and then boom, 2021 was a bit of a myth, it was a bit madness. Like, just yeah, I don't know. The energy was just stagnant, and um, there was a lot of I don't know. 2020 was just a write-off, in it, yeah. Um, that was just a mad year for me personally. I had like so much inner work, like transitioning from the third to the fourth or whatever, and that was quite traumatic yeah traumatic so like dark night of the soul ego death um depersonalization and shit so that was that was a bit mad um and then this year was a great year has been a great year um so yeah i'm feeling the lighter energies or whatever but um it's like all right called um i thought <laughs> like i was saying before the um it's not a race it's more of a marathon should i say so, and the tortoise always, the tortoise won the race, yeah? So there was me thinking, oh yeah, boom, the ascension started. Duh, duh. I'm not sure when, when it's gonna, like, I don't know, everyone's gonna wake up or whatever. Um, but I was thinking, oh yeah, boom, putting in the work, duh, 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 meditating. And I've seen notice shifts, like, like I've noticed shifts happening in it. But um, I don't know, like, my vision of the new earth and living in 5D is, um, yeah, it's, all right, cool. The 5D Earth is gonna be more of an internal thing. There's certain, like, I don't know what, what the physical structure is gonna be like externally, but um, the 5D is all peace, love, unity, abundance, being able to manifest what you want, um, share, like, being able to have what you want and just share the rest, do you know what I'm saying? Not, no greed. Um, and people just coming together and coexisting with the planet, yeah? That's what my um, view of 
5D new earth is, yeah? So, um, that's my vision and I'm trying to hold on to, well, not, that's my vision and that's going to manifest, isn't it? But, um, trying to, what's the word? Because um, I'm already there, in a way. Like, I'm, my energy's up. Well, like, well, most of this year has been up. Um, and I've been bumping into people and I'm seeing like the connections and stuff and the unity consciousness happening as well. Like when I went carnival, I was walking and then I heard someone talking about spirituality and chakras and this and that. And then I was like, oh yeah, that's actually real, real what you're talking about, yeah? And then again, when I was leaving carnival, the same thing happened again. So I was like, whoa. Like, and I'm not even meant to be, I'm not even listening to um, their conversation. I'm just, I don't know, I just, it's like, I overhear it and because I'm back on that journey it's like yeah cool like, so it's happening on the collective scale people are waking up consciously which is cool but obviously like I said like <laughs> it's a marathon it's not a race so we're also waiting on the masters and watching certain things play out um, in the matrix as well um, so yeah it's just about trying to hold the vision of the 5d um, and I'm not sure, I'm, I'm, yeah, this is what's interesting and fascinating, um, is obviously it's an internal thing. So, not sure how um, it's going to manifest externally, if that makes sense. Because obviously, yes, the system's crumbling, the matrix is collapsing, right? But the infrastructure is still intact. So this should be interesting, maybe not in this lifetime, but um, it'd be great to see a lot of it um, manifest. Yeah, that would be great to see that manifest in this, um, in the 3D. Um, and yes, there'll be some things in place to try to slow that down, <coughs> but that's normal because um, the ascension, it can't be stopped. It can only be prolonged and just like 2020 was prolonging the shit. Like certain things playing out in the matrix, it's just a distraction from you. Most things in the matrix are a, di a distraction from taking the attention away from yourself. Because the more attention you have on yourself, the more you find out who you are and what your power is, yeah? And the system don't like that. <laughs> and that's what they're trying to keep you away from so with the tablets with the social media with the news with certain lifestyles uh keeping up with the joneses all that shit that's that shit no matter man that's all 3d and material shit um which will only serve its purpose like people with louis bags and shit like when the ne next louis bag comes out for the new season like they want to dash that new the other louis bag to get the next one um so they just murdered like a crocodile just to wear it for like a few months and then switch up again. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, that's, I don't know. I'm not vegan or anything, but it's just like how things are in the matrix and stuff. Um, but um, one thing I have um, really realized on the journey so far is um, meditating. If you want to really elevate, yeah, before I was like, listen, like I said, I was, used to be a whole different person. I used to be a whole different person, yeah? But <clears throat> even my guides and that um, spoke to me and was basically saying, you don't, people think meditating, you have to be in the mountains and meditate for hours a day, yeah? Um, it is not that, it is not that. My guides were saying basically, all you have to do for, for the minimum five to 10 minutes a day, just sit with yourself, Close your eyes, concentrate on your breath, yeah? For five to 10 minutes, that's all you need. And once you start doing that, make that become a daily practice and you'll see your, your shit elevate. And you'll start seeing certain things in the matrix you won't even be triggered by. Um, and, <laughs> well, that, I don't know if you could see it, but the, uh, is it this one? The, the sign says flawless, yeah? <laughs> so yeah, <coughs> yeah, you become flawless, innit? in a way like, I don't know that, that sign just stood out to me it said flawless yeah once you start meditating you, st you start not getting um, triggered or affected by the lower vibrational shit it's like before um, this took a while because I've been meditating for a good while now um, 
like the monkey mind like before like my mind would just be constantly going 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 like not cutting off not cutting off not cutting off and then um like pure thoughts pure thoughts pure thoughts like going 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 and then remember i think it was 20 was it 2021 it might have been 2021 um, I, sat, I laid down to meditate and I literally noticed there was no monkey mind and I was like whoa and then my the, listen my head was empty yeah and then that's when I first got my first channeled message um, which was an experience um, so yeah man that meditating is it works wonders it helps with your mind um, there's a lot of there's so many benefits to it but it helps with mind concentration um and it's mainly about tapping into who you are um so yeah and um, that's one thing that i've kind of um that's like a part of my routine like trying to meditate on a regular basis um yeah it's like yeah that's very it's yeah it's important it's, it's it's very important um but like i was saying five to ten minutes a day will help you level up will help you level up um and also breath work as well check out win hoffman wim 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 hoff breathing techniques yeah um that will also help you to regulate your breathing because um due to the matrix the matrix is like fast fast living yeah and if you live in the city you feel it even more so we tend to shallow breathe we tend to breathe up here when we're meant to use the whole capacity of our lungs to breathe um and wim hof um breathing techniques helps you use the whole capacity of your lungs to breathe which gives you more chi which gives you like more life force energy um and then there's also <laughs> so there's the mind that's more body and obviously eating and getting exercise um which i need to work on eating better i've been trying to become vegetarian um but slowly slowly it's, it's happening slowly slowly um and working out like yeah i need to start taking i'm kind of not in sync at the moment um so i need to recenter but while trying to do all the other other day-to-day -day shit as well um so that's where my imbalances has been i've been putting in but maybe it's because i'm a number seven if you've got a life path seven um yeah where that's our that's our goal in in that's like one of our main goals is just to go within like my inner world <laughs> is more interesting than this shit like yeah and self-expression creativity um self-expression did i say self-expression self creativity exploring the unknown um trying out new things and shit that's all me but um yeah this was just a little crazy crazy matrix talk video about healing man um and yeah that it's not a ma it's a it's not a race it's a marathon so you've got to keep it slow and steady man because yeah healing doesn't happen overnight and it's not for the faint-hearted um and sometimes we'll get swayed off mission and then sometimes we'll get we'll have to jump back on mission and that's totally okay man um but you're being called if you're if you're you're being called to commit to your spiritual practice if you're serious about healing um yeah commit to your spiritual practices man because the 3d realm you will not find um fulfillment long-term fulfillment long-term fulfillment will come from internal not external um so yeah if you're looking for something externally of yourself when you find that it's not going to last long when you find it internally that's when it's everlasting so if you're looking outside yourself for a relationship yeah to turn within and start trying to build that relationship with yourself and then once you build that relationship with yourself it will manifest in the external if you're trying to be wealthy treat yourself with wealth do you know what i'm saying carry yourself in high regard and also we want to be living as our higher self so stepping into your divinity and making choices that are going to benefit you for the long long term and put you on the highest timeline um, if you're making um, decisions from your 
lower consciousness or your lower self, then you're going to be still attracting, um, be trapped in certain cycles and stuff. But yeah, 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 I've got to wrap this up anyway, it's 20 minutes. Um, yeah, if you like the video, you guys already know what to do. And um, peace, love, and light, tribe. I'm going to hit you guys up real soon.